everybody welcome back so today well so far I've taken the fretboard down to more or less down to size I've been having a go at getting these a bit flatter it's still a slight curve but I'm getting there uh, rubber mallet of course um, now I think the next thing I want to do is I've drawn a center line right down this piece um, I'm measuring from this side because this I've straightened this side out with the number seven just to give me one edge that's pretty good to work from um, so I'm going to work out where the fretboard's going to fit and then we can look at getting the truss rod channel done and removing this excess bit in the front get the truss rod channel in angle for the headstock um, truss rod uh, fretboard pinned in place sort of thing then I can lay the top on, get that lined up where that needs to go, mark around that so that I can, because uh, I need to cut some metal out for the fretboard. And yeah, there's, there's loads, loads of jobs. I've been having a good think about it. So I think what we'll do now is just get stuck straight in, eh? Let's crack on. So that's what I've got to cut out on this section here. I think all I'll do is I'll drill a couple of big holes at the back here because it doesn't matter. I mean I could drill a bunch of holes if I want to, but yeah. I'll drill biggish holes back here. 
so down here, so down here. See if I can't get there. Um, right, I'll just bring up the swap blades over and chop this. Or, or, oh, what was option number two? It was, it was these. This is option number two. If I cut this close to the line, not quite on the line. I'll still have to drill holes though and then use a hacksaw blade or something. Like a glove. Hey, <laughs> kaboom! Get in. Oh, you dancer. Successful mission. That's sitting down there, sitting down there. Um, so that's the fret. The fret was just under eight millimeters above here, which I'll come down a little bit with radius in, but not too much. That should be enough, though. That should give us what we need. So.
headstock and wall. The hang wall. Uh, whoosh! Pretty more fits on there, no bother. Um, yeah, I think. Oh, can we do that now? Or. Yeah, I don't think about the back stuff. You know what? I don't think it'll matter. Aye! Yeah, that's what I'll do. The back's going to go on because I'm going to do a carve anyway into the back piece, so it'll, I don't need to make any kind of lip there. I just needed it for the front for the fretboard to sit high. Um, you check that I'll right into this. The happy days. I think it's probably about time to stick down the fetish board, get it stuck down, and then. Um, we can uh, start getting the next sort of shape type of things. I always like to do the headstock angle because trying to do that with the fretboard in the way it, you just can't get in with the hand plane and stuff. It's just I learned that that's really hard work. The rear and that's fine. I can do the back no bother. Now when it comes to gluing your neck, be sure and put the truss rod in the uh, slot before you glue the neck board down. Because that's a lot easier that way. Just thought I'd pass on that helpful bit of information. That's good. It's a good bit, good few jobs there. Good bit of work done. Um, so that's the. Uh, <laughs> I'm looking for something. Don't, it's not bullying me. There it goes. I was looking for this tissue that I threw down, so I cleaned the glue bottle. Yeah. Anyway. Anywho. Yeah. So we've got the ledge now, so that the body sits lower on the fretboard. Boom. We've got the headstock angle. Boom. Truss rod slot, boom, fretboard in place, glued on, boom, and of course I've uh, trimmed some things as well. But yeah, so I've got these two holes that I've made obviously, and I can put three mil drills right down through to hold both sides together so I can get them lined up in place and things, and I can work on the sort of the heel car thing. You know, it's a neck through basically, so you might as well have fun with it, eh? You go, you know, nice big access carve, even if it is only 22 frets. But no, I'm super chuffed with this. I'm chuffed. And again, I'm not touched, I'm not going to try and mop up glue. I see people do it on YouTube, it's so tidy, everything's great. Whenever I try and do it, I smidge it up in all the fret slots and I just make an absolute mess. No, that limits, lad. So I'm not doing that. But yeah, happy days. Yeah, we're going to leave this here for now. Uh, I'd just like to say thanks for all the comments and stuff. I appreciate it. I appreciate the support from you lot here. It's really nice. Um, but yes. Yeah. Loads more do. I'll try to keep the episodes a bit short. Not too ginormous. Um, but yeah, so that's enough for now. 
I uh, hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all again real soon. Cheers!